Okay, so we have the stuff from the nether. Um, I think we want to get a horse now. So I think I need a lead. I have a lead. I have that. Um, do I have apples? I think I should have apples for increasing the chance that they love me. Uh, I don't, but I do have apples down by the village. We're going to go find a horse because I want to go out and find some uh, a biome where we can get some uh, terracotta. Because I wanna, the next thing we're going to do is try and make some pots from Botnia. And we need terracotta for that. So let's run over here and get some apples. And then there's horses this way somewhere I've seen out in this field. And we will get those. So I planted a ton of apple trees over here. Village is doing okay. Lots of visitors keep dying. I can't help that. They fall out of the world. I don't know how to deal with that. I don't know that I can deal with that. So it is what it is, right? Alright, get a bunch of these apples that fall on the ground here. And then let's go find us a horse. And then we can travel around quick. And see if we can find us a, a terracotta biome. Here, horsey, horsey. I know I've seen you and your family out here in this field somewhere. Where are you? Dead pigs. I don't know how that happened, but okay, we'll take their meat. Because why not, right? Horsies, there they are. Family of gray mares. Alright, so, which one do we want? You're... 24, 22, 28, and 25. So I think we want this 28. I think this is the fastest horse here, right? That's a 28. What are you over here? You're a 21, and you're a 19. You're pretty, but I think we want the 28, because I think that talks about how fast they are. So you are the one I want. So here, have an apple, or two, or three. And then I'm going to break you. Nope, come here. I will break you. I will break you. You will be my friend. Boom, best friends forever. Okay, and then if we shift click on that, we should be able to put the saddle on. And... We now have a horse. So there's that. Alright, we are ready to go. Uh, we'll name tag this horse later if it survives this trip. Take that, hop on, and away we go. I'm not sure where we're going. Uh, obviously we're going to go... Uh, let's go north. We'll roll north and see what we come up with. See what kind of things we can find out in the world. Hey brown horse. Just curious, were you any better than what I had? No, you were 23. Okay. That's fine. Alright, so let's roll north and see what we find out here. Obviously, I will be editing this down. Uh, just to the interesting things that I run into. Try not to run into a crevice, for example. Don't recognize this kind of tree. What is this? Charred log. Uh-oh. Why is it charred? Let's uh let's grab some if we can. Let's see if we can use it for anything. Horse, come here. It says horses wander off. Gotta keep an eye on horses. Whatever you're doing, just tie them up. Because they like to leave you. Do I do anything with this? Copper casing. Looks like you can use casings. Can okay, how do you make these? Oh, you just set them on fire. So we don't even need this. Okay, that's why I like to look. Because you never know, you know? Ah. 
Onward, horse. Splash. Ride the horse across. It's a birch forest. I think this is spruce. It might be dark oak. We'll have to look. If this is dark oak, we gotta grab some. This is dark times, dark wood. Ooh, what's that advancement? Stumble into a dark wood forest. Okay. We don't know what we're going to find here, but probably nothing good that we want to deal with, huh? All right, you... You stay here. I'm going to grab some dark wood. Because I like to collect all the woods for building, obviously. Looks like we found us a village down in that cold area. So let's roll down there and say hello. Let's see what we can see. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. Trying not to take too much damage from the fall. Ooh, don't want to drown the horse. Let's not do that. Careful not to get underneath the ice sheet, huh? There we go. Jumped. Well, hello, villagers. You're interesting looking. Huh. Look at you guys. All right, we're going to put our horse here. We're going to tie the horse up here. Actually, we can tie him right up here to the bell. So, boop a doop a doop. Come here, horse. You stay here. Well, hello, nitwit. Nitwit. They're all nitwits, apparently. You guys have anything steel worthy here? Nothing that I see. Nothing in there. Pingies. <laughs> Baby Panky. That's awesome. That's awesome, guys. Baby penguins. Nothing. 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 Not a super material heavy group, are they? <sighs> the baby nitwit. It's just a wit. Alright, I guess that's it for these guys. This is a giant biome of gravel and snow, it looks like. It's just huge amounts of gravel. Ooh, God, don't fall down there. Careful. It was interesting. I just figured I would point this out because, man, if you needed gravel, this is the place to come. Right here. Hey, look what I see. Waystone. As a McCall will cred. That's awesome. Select your destination. This is the only one we've got, so we'll need to find another one that we can take home with us. If we find a village, supposedly they said that some of the villages have two and three waystones in them. And if we find one that has multiple waystones, then what we can do is uh, borrow one of their waystones, so to speak. Okay, so for the next segments, uh, I'm doing postscript because my wife had gotten up. So I couldn't record with voice. So what it is, I went home and I was like, hey, we can make a nature's compass. So made a quick compass, threw some logs and some saplings around that compass, and bam, nature's compass ready to go. And uh, we took that guy. And we searched up Badlands, because that's where you'll generally find uh, all of the clay that you need for the next thing that I wanted. 
and that is the flower pots that we're going to make. The uh, botany pots. So we searched up the Badlands, found where the closest location for the Badlands was. We went, got our horse. And away we were off to the Badlands. We had to cross an ocean. We had our horse in tow behind us. And eventually we stumbled into a redwood forest, and you know what that means. New trees for me to collect. So we climbed that bad boy and started smacking as many leaves as we could to get the uh, saplings so that we could have you know, that in our, in our stock later on. And eventually we made it to the Badlands, which is all of the terracotta that you could want in all the different colors. I was really mostly just worried about the base terracotta because I could make it colored myself later on. So we collected a ton of that and then we went home. Uh, and then from here we're like, okay, so we want to make a botany pot. And a botany pot is, it looks like a flower pot surrounded by some terracotta. So what we did is cook some bricks and then made some flower pots and then slapped some terracotta around that and bam, we had botany pots. So I made a couple of those. We set those up over here by the window. And what you do is you take dirt and you place dirt, or in this case I had some dirt uh, and some soul sand which we'd brought back from the nether. And I put dirt I think in two of them and soul sand in two of them. So there's the soul sand going into two of them. There's the dirt going into the other two. And then we planted nether wart in the soul sand. And I didn't think at first it was doing anything, but then you could see the little tiny buds starting to grow there in the center. And then we placed some mystical flowers in the others uh, from Botany S. So there's a red and a green flower growing as well. And then I was like, huh, we've got to wait for a while. I wonder if this has a hopper version, and I looked it up, and sure enough, there's hopper botany pots. So, what we did is we came back when these were done. It took a while for them to grow, and I right-click, got all the uh, the stuff out of it, and you can see there's a little, little nub of it growing again, so it automatically replants and grows. So you basically just have to right-click whenever it's mature and get what you want, but you have to remember to do that, which is why we were looking at the... the the hopper version of it so what we did is we broke out the pots um, so that we could use them mixed them with some hoppers and bam we had hopper botany pots and so we slapped those on top of some chests just like we would do the uh, the bonsai trees filled those with soul sand and with regular sand and uh, our regular dirt and we waited for a while. This is of course sped up. It was just overnight basically from the time it started to get dark till the next morning more or less. But sure enough, there we had it. So we could just leave this here and it would build up resources over time. All right, and so a little bit more work collecting some more metal and getting this to work. I've started to set up what I'm going to build here as a greenhouse. And it's going to be, you can see we already moved what was in the garden, removed this, and we can just kind of let this do its thing. Right here along this row, I've got all 16 colors of uh, mystical flower. And what I did was I, I put them all on a... Uh, slab or I put them all on a uh, planks and then I put a slab here in between them so that I could be a little higher up than that because that's like two blocks high uh, but you can see they've got that going we've got some wheat some carrots some corn it looks like we've got uh, potatoes pumpkin rice lettuce I did poppies oxidaisy and cornflower all these are going to be moved probably along this row 
once I get more, because I'd like to do like, you know, all grains on one row and all vegetables and all fruits and so on and so forth. I'm just testing different things. The Ogberdine seeds and the lavender itself, these things would not go into the pot. So I'm thinking the Druidcraft stuff maybe won't work with it and maybe the Mystical World won't work with it. These I did as flowers because we can turn these into dye as we need dyes. So we'll put all 16 color of flower in there. Possibly we could turn these into dice too. Um, let's test that real quick and see what happens. We can turn that into dye. I've still got the nether ward in here and then this, I can probably break these out, but kind of curious if we take a mystical blue flower and stick it in there, it can become petals. Can we turn those petals into dye? No. Okay, so we'll need regular flowers for that for sure. So this is what we'll be doing, and then this way we'll build a, we'll build a glass greenhouse around this eventually and make it look nice. Um, but all of our stuff can be grown in these pots, and then it auto collects here. So as you can see, we've got like some tall and some regular, which is kind of nice. It'll grow it'll grow both in there. It looks like, and then this stuff obviously you know pumpkins and wheat and all that that we need, and we're good to go. And so we'll just let this go and. Anytime we need something, we can come grab it out of these chests, and they'll eventually fill up. So, those are pretty cool things. Hopefully, they're not too uh, performant problem. We'll see. We'll see what it looks like. Uh, but, yeah. So, that's the Hopper Botany Pots. Uh, I suggest you check those out.